Hi, everybody. I'm Tammy Ray, Regional Vice President with Arbonne, and just so excited to be with you to share a little bit more about the 30 Days to Healthy Living Plan, one of my very favorite topics. So whoever invited you to hear more about this plan, I just want you to know that they think the world of you, and they really feel like Arbonne could somehow be a blessing in your life. And no matter what, even if Arbonne isn't for you, I just hope that this information will add value to you and your family just to help you make healthier choices. So um, a little bit about my, my background. Um, I actually was introduced to Arbonne way back in 2003. I started using the skincare products and just fell in love with how refined they are. I was using products from the health food store because I wanted to be healthy, but I looked orange and greasy and I smelled bad. And so I was just so grateful to, you know, find such wonderful, just gorgeous products for, for skin. And I have a nursing background and I had never heard before until Arbon that what you put on your skin actually absorbs into your bloodstream even faster than food. And so it, it affects your health even faster than what we eat. And that definitely turned my head. And I love that Arbonne's a holistic company. So it's looking at beauty and healthcare and anti-aging from the outside in and the inside out because we have this nutrition plan too. Um, Arbonne started out with skincare and then they added the nutrition later. And just um, so you know, my background, um, I was 27 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And my mom actually um, was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 28, and she passed away when she was 30. And um, my sister also went through breast cancer, and that's part of my story of why I'm so passionate about health now. And I'm going to save my 30-day testimony till a little bit further into the presentation, but I just wanted you to know that that's my heart, is to obviously... Um, you know, I have a heart for helping others through nursing, but this has just been, you know, a nutrition mission now because I realized how much we can do um, just by changing up a few things in our daily routine as far as, um, you know, really advancing our health. So I just, I'm so excited that Amy's here. And Amy, I'd love it if you would just kind of give your quick take on the 30 day plan coming from a crazy busy you know active mom <laughs> how you. Your take on this plan oh thanks tammy so i love this plan and one of the reasons i love it so much is because it makes it so simple to be healthy being super busy right my husband and i we are running around all the time so busy we have two kids that are in too many activities i'm sure many of you can relate and our evenings are crazy going from here to there. The recipes are so simple. You get a shopping list, so you know exactly what you need to purchase. Um, and because the recipes are clean and healthy, they're, they're simple. There's not all kinds of crazy ingredients that you've never heard of before. So I just love it. I can plan ahead, prepare meals, and there's stuff that my kids enjoy, and that makes me so happy. So I just love it. It's great for busy people, busy families, and I can't say enough. That's awesome. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. It, it. You lend credibility because I know there's lots of busy moms that are going <laughs> to hear this. <laughs> so I just want to share screen a minute so that you can see some of the slides and we'll kind of go back and forth because I want to see your faces too. But this 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond Planned is really, you know, all about you because the greatest gift you can give to yourself and those you love is a healthy you. Wouldn't you agree? And truly, this is all about transformation, um, pure transformation. And it's not about, you know, being better than anyone else. It's truly just about being a little bit better today than you were yesterday in all areas of your life. And so it's all about just little bits of improvement. And, you know, what results can you expect? Well, do you want to look better? Do you want to feel better? Do you want to be more fit? Do you want to manage your weight, fuel your day, work with your doctor to get off medication, slow down aging? Yes. Have more energy? Yes. <laughs> Improve sleep quality? Detox your body, be healthier, even healthier? Because I know there's lots of people who are already living a healthy lifestyle that are going to hear this. So what's important to you? I just want to stop there and ask you, you know, if you could change one thing about your health, Amanda and Bev, what would it be? And here, we'll just, I'll, do you want to go first, Amanda? 
here I can there you go healthier eat healthier I don't eat healthy right now and yes I'm a busy mom with two kids <laughs> and it's been hectic so this would be a good plan to um you know work on things I'm I don't even know what to say. It is. It is. It's, it's busy. I'm not eating right. You're right. Busy people who want to be healthy and save money. That's really <laughs> what it boils down to. So does that sound like you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Try not to cough. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> All right. And how about you, Beth? Um, I believe to continue to lose the weight. Um, because of weight management is so important and eating the uh, right way when we eat with um, the carbs and all of that that's not as healthy at, or uh, nutritional it really slows down everything even your body I mean like where you're sluggish or you have a sugar spike and then you crash so those days I'm 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 working on hopefully less and less of those days to come oh. I'm so excited. This is going to touch on all of those points. So <laughs> yay. All right. Well, we're, you're in the right place. I can't wait for you to hear more. I'm going to go back to sharing the screen. And so this slide is really what makes me so proud to share with, with families, you know, um, Arbonne certified vegan, botanically based, certified gluten-free, non-GMO. Um, it's hypoallergenic, pH correct. There's no animal testing, no mineral oil, no petro petroleum products or byproducts, um, no phthalates, that's so huge. No parabens, they're actually finding parabens in uh, the breast tissue um, tumors, you know, in, in breast cancer. There's no dyes or harmful levels of preservatives or any kind of chemicals that are toxic. So this is just something, if you can understand and wrap your head around, it makes the whole catalog make sense. Oops. Sorry about that. Here we go. All right. So, and our 30-day our plan is just targeted healthy food and then plant-based urban supplements. And so this isn't about starving, it's not about a juice diet, it's not <laughs> eating all raw, it's really healthy, uh, nutritious food along with our, our, you know, clean vegan protein, the alkalizing fizz sticks, the digestion plus that's going to heal the gut, the green balance powder that's going to add nutrients and actually support um, detox too. Um, there's the detox tea, the fiber boost, the seven day body cleanse. It's all just, it works synergistically together. And these are based on five key principles of health. This isn't, you know, a fad. These are just key principles that, that are made to last. These are pillars of health. And so it's all based on eating clean, increasing our nutrient intake, eliminating acidic, allergenic, and addictive foods, balancing our blood sugar, supporting elimination organs, because again, we don't lose weight to get healthy. And this is so key, Bev. We get healthy and then we lose the weight. And if you need to gain weight, you will. This is a normalizing program. What if, I mean, how often have we heard people say, oh, I need to lose 10 pounds. Oh, I need to lose 20 pounds, you know, to fit into the dress, to go on the cruise, to, you know, for so-and-so's wedding. What if we just were healthy and we didn't have to keep losing the weight? <laughs> you know, what if we were just in this nice, balanced state and this doesn't mean perfection it just means progressing little by little and so what is eating clean it's predominantly plant-based whole versus processed free of artificial ingredients and organic and non-gmo and i have to admit i was vegetarian but i wasn't a plant-based <laughs> vegetarian i probably ate two to three servings of fruits or vegetables a day whereas now i'm really intentional about eight to ten servings of fruits and vegetables a day i, I don't use anything processed um, and the thing with non-gmo i just want to touch on that really quick the way that we can avoid it the best way that i know to avoid it is to when you're grocery shopping and you're looking at your bananas and your cucumbers and your apples and tomatoes there's that little sticker on it the plu sticker get the one that starts with the number nine 
if it starts with any other number, you really don't know if it's GMO or not because they're not going to label it. But if it's a, it starts with a number nine, it will be organic and non-GMO. And that's important because what, you know, GMOs, the FDA considers GMOs safe for us, but what it's not safe for is our gut bacteria. The glyphosate that, that they use in the, in the genetically modified organisms renders the gut bacteria inactive. And so that's where we're running into trouble. Um, you know, just think about all of the gut issues that you hear about. <laughs> any, any commercial on TV is talking about gut health and, you know, leaky gut and acid reflux and Crohn's and IBS, all these things. Um, and, you know, so much of our immune system resides in the gut as well. So that, again, if we can heal the gut, we really are going to get a great handle on health. So eliminate those GMOs as best you can by buying the produce with the, with the number nine. And then the second principle is increasing nutrient intake. There was a whole you know, debate in the American Medical Association as to whether or not we could get all of our nutrients from food. And they finally decided that no, we would have to supplement to live. And why is that? What's happening to our food? Well, it's called nutrient degradation. And this is talking about conventionally grown foods, okay? This is not organic. Organic, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck as far as nutrition. Um, but in the conventional, food business, all fruits and vegetables are affected. But here are just a couple examples. Over the last 50 years, the potato has lost, for example, 100% of its vitamin A. It's lost other nutrients, but that's what we're using as an example. Broccoli has lost 63% of its calcium. Why? Because conventional food producers are focusing on appearance, storability, transportability, high yield, and disease resistance instead of nutritional value. So when we eat this way, we become overfed and undernourished. And two points on this. Um, when, we're, when we're overfed and undernourished, our cells are craving those nutrients. So how many of you, you know, get massive food cravings? Or have you ever had, you know, massive food cravings? <laughs> At least for me, I was like totally craving sugar all day long. I was craving food all day. I was kind of obsessed with food because my cells were crying out for nutrients. They weren't crying out for more calories. They were crying out for nutrients. And so when we eat higher nutrient value food, it's going to calm those cravings and you're going to have a peace about food. The other thing that happens when we're eating food that's processed and, and not full of nutrients, our metabolism goes down. So if we can up our nutrients, our metabolism goes up too. So isn't that, I just think that's a great plan. <laughs> so more nutrients and it'll help us normalize our weight and metabolism as well. So the third principle is eliminating acidic, allergenic, and addictive foods. The food we crave is often the food that's killing us. Whew, that's a strong statement, but so true. Um, salt, sugar, unhealthy fats, are addictive and they're made to be addictive they're made to change our brain so that we can't say no <laughs> right we have to keep going back for more so anything prepackaged, convenience foods processed foods fast foods we just need to run 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 because these are not nutrient dense and they're they're taking a toll on our health they're not adding to our health so the whole concept of acidity and alkalinity it's, it's that all food falls somewhere on this pH scale. An acidic body is a sickness magnet. And here's the deal. What we're talking about is, you know, a lemon by itself is very acidic, but when we ingest a lemon and it's metabolized, it actually makes our blood more alkaline. So that's what we're talking about. Coffee is acidic by itself. And then when we drink it, coffee also makes our blood more acidic. So we're trying to add more of the foods that keep our metabolism and our, and our blood more alkaline, we're avoiding the things that make us more acidic. So our body pH is normally between 7.35 to 7.45. And we know as nurses, right, Amanda, if we had a baby that was, you know, a 6.9, <laughs> we were running. I mean, that baby was in trouble. So even just a little bit acidic is, um, is actually going to throw us out of balance. And even slightly, a slightly mildly acidic body contributes to weight gain 
diabetes, osteoporosis, aching muscles, low energy, chronic fatigue, slow digestion, slow elimination, yeast and fungal overgrowth, advanced aging, and more. Oh my goodness. So here's the deal. An, an alkaline body is going to be health and weight normalizing. An acidic body is a sickness magnet. When we're acidic, the body's doing everything it can, even leaching minerals out of the bones to buffer the blood. It's sort of like driving your car in first gear. It's just that your body is working so much harder when it's in an acidic state because it's trying, trying, trying to work its way back to alkaline. And so what are some things that we can do to, to keep ourselves more alkaline? Well, <laughs> this list kind of hurt my feelings. I don't know if it does yours, but <laughs> the biggest thing we can do is eliminate the acidic foods. And these are the biggest offenders because they're in just about everything. Refined sugar, dairy, gluten, soy, coffee, alcohol, and corn. Whew, I looked at this, that list and just, I, <laughs> I couldn't believe that this was even possible to go off all of these things. I have never known anyone to go off sugar I, I was dabbling with dairy-free, I was dabbling with gluten-free, but not all the way. I grew up vegetarian, so we ate a lot of processed soy. I was, a co I was a coffee drinker, working as a nurse. You know, alcohol wasn't that big of a deal. Corn, we're talking about the, um, you know, uh, high fructose corn syrup and more the processed corn. And, you know, just because corn is such a high GMO crop, so those are the things that we're avoiding. And if you think about it, think how we're conditioned in our good old United States to think, you know, we're, we're conditioned to think we need to wake up and brew a cup of coffee, right? And add sugar and cream and pour a bowl of cereal and add milk. And it's just like all of these things are keeping us acidic. So two hours later, you know, our blood sugars drop spiked and then dropped again and we're hungry and tired and hangry and <laughs> looking for more sugar or, or coffee or something to give us a boost because it's not fueling our body. So um, I just want to talk briefly on, sorry about the slides here, briefly on um, dairy, soy, and gluten and why that's so important to um, to avoid consuming predominantly acidic foods promotes disease and it's like pouring acid rain on our bones countries with the highest consumption of dairy have the highest rates of breast cancer and osteoporosis and that's a direct quote from the book um, the china study which was just you know a study objective study over 40 years from all different countries in the world and that was their conclusion, is that the countries with the highest consumption of dairy have the highest rates of breast cancer and osteoporosis. So that's one reason to avoid dairy. It was kind of the kicker for me. <laughs> um, all of these things, dairy, soy, and gluten, they're all acidic, they're all allergenic, and they're all predominantly GMO, and they promote systemic, so full body inflammation. So let's just stop there for a second. When we talk about allergenic, we're not saying hives or you know sneezing or <laughs> anything like that we're talking about allergenic and inflammatory meaning like if you were to trip and fall on the sidewalk and you scrape up your knee what does that look like you know it's sort of like road rash <laughs> where it's it's red and swollen and sore and painful it might be oozing something it's a wound and so that's what we're talking about. It's sort of like road rash on the inside. Our intestines get wounded when we're eating these things that are acidic, allergenic, and they're, you know, um, promoting inflammation. It's the, the nutrients that do pass through our intestines, they're not being able, they're not able to absorb because we're, you know, going through a wounded state. So Dairy also may contain growth hormones and antibiotics. It's linked to acne, osteoporosis, certain cancers, all kinds of digestive issues. Um, soy, again, promotes excess estrogen, and we don't, we don't want too much estrogen. And it's also linked to certain cancers, man boobs, ED, erectile dysfunction, decreased libido, and more digestive issues. Um, and then gluten is hard to digest and it causes bloating or pot belly. It's also linked to celiac disease, IBS, Crohn's, unexplained weight gain, and other digestive diseases. So we're just going to like avoid these things and let our intestines 
heal, let that inflammation heal, and so that we can start absorbing nutrients um, again. And if you want to reintroduce those things after the 30 days, go ahead and do so one at a time and then see how you feel. Just pay attention to your body. We're not saying never, ever eat these things again. But here's what I do know. I always tell myself I can have coffee because I, you know, I think it tastes good. I like the smell. But guess what? I'm addicted to how I feel without it. I'm just brighter. I feel happier. <laughs> and I have more energy without it. So it's not like I'm saying, oh, I can never have it again. I just am addicted to how I feel. So that's what we want you to just test out, is test out how you feel without these things. So the fourth key is balancing your blood sugar. Eating sugary or high glycemic foods cause inflammation and instructs your body to produce insulin to bring your blood sugar down. But the insulin also instructs your body to hold on to fat. So that's what's happening when our, when our blood sugar is going up and down. Our body is kind of protecting us by holding on to fat, thinking that something's wrong, right? <laughs> so Nicholas, Dr. Nicholas Pericone says that scientists have established that anything that causes a rise in our blood sugar results in inflammation. There's that word again. And I believe that inflammation is at the basis of virtually every disease process, such as cancer, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and wrinkled skin. So, whoa, this is way different than what I learned in nursing school. We were always taught that heart disease was linked to, you know, high cholesterol and trans fats, and we need to avoid those things, yes. But now they're finding that these things, heart disease is, is more, you know, um, related to inflammation caused by, again, eating sugary and high glycemic foods. I went through, I lived through the 90s, as I know lots of us did, where we were told, you know, to go fat free. But what happened is we went fat free, we took away the fat, but we replaced it with things that were so high in sugar. And so that just, you know, put our whole society into a tailspin. The high glycemic and sugary foods are not good for us. And so Again, we're just getting back to, you're going to hear this theme over and over. We're going, to, we're, we're going to promote lean protein, fiber, meaning vegetables, and healthy fats, like avocado and nuts and <laughs> coconut, those things. So, And then the fifth key principle is supporting our elimination organs. Oh, wait, I just wanted to say one more thing. On the blood sugar note, instead of having a bowl of cereal and a cup of coffee for breakfast, if you switch that over to, at least for me, when I switched over to a fizz stick, and we'll talk about that, and a protein shake, and just starting the day with protein, fiber, and that healthy fat, you just, you're not hungry. You're not, you know, going up and down and crashing. You just feel so good when you get your blood sugar balanced out. So, and then here we are. The fifth key principle is supporting our elimination organs. We achieve optimum health and release any excess weight by healing and detoxifying the elimination pathways. That makes sense, right? Um, think about if in our society, the garbage trucks stop coming, you know? Like think about what our community would be like after a month or two of not getting our garbage picked up. <laughs> and that's how it is in our body. We want to support our elimination organs because they're, they're the garbage guys. <laughs> so we want them to keep taking out the garbage. But we get so overloaded. Our liver is tired because it has to process what we're putting on our skin as well as what's going into our body and into our mouth. So we're going to remove the toxins and it will actually help us lose weight. And this is such a key point. I wish I had known this when I was younger that clean eating helps remove toxins and it heals the body because fat surrounds toxins to protect the major organs. And when we take away those toxins, that toxic melt, fat will melt off and it helps our body to normalize. So what this means, anything that comes into the body that cannot be used as energy, so like pesticides, solvents, cleaning supplies, preservatives, these dyes and ad additives, um, heavy metals, pesticides, that kind of stuff, all of these things that we're exposed to, if it can't be used as energy, we store them. And so we start accumulating all of these things that we've been storing over a lifetime. And our body, to protect the major organs, starts to wrap those toxins in fat, kind of like bubble wrap, and push them away from the organs to protect us. So now we're left with this 
<laughs> midsection, because think about where all the major organs are, right around the middle. And that midsection is so hard to get rid of. Um, so in this plan, which I think is so brilliant, it's, it's not only clean eating, but it's going to help remove the toxins. And then you, you just see it over and over. People are able to get their flat belly back. So we're not crazy, we're toxic. Symptoms of toxic overload can be feeling tired, sluggish, trouble concentrating and staying focused, headaches, joint pain, catching colds easily, trouble sleeping, unpleasant body odor, frequent gas bloating and digestion, back pain, sinus congestion, oh my goodness. And why are we toxic? Because of the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the toxins that soak into our skin. 60% of what we're putting on our skin every day absorbs into the bloodstream and reaches every major organ within 26 seconds. So this leaves the average person with over 200 synthetic chemicals stored in their bodies at all time. No, we don't want that. We, Arbonne is healthy living on the inside and outside. And I love that Arbonne follows the European Union guidelines because in Europe, they've banned over 1,400 toxic skincare ingredients, whereas in the U.S., the FDA has only banned eight. And so, yes, I'm so grateful that we go by the higher standards. And it just makes me happy to share this with families. So for the love, what will I be eating? Here's just a tiny, tiny glimpse of a list. <laughs> You're going to eat organic fruits and vegetables, unsweetened almond, coconut, and rice milk, quinoa, organic brown rice, beans and legumes, green and herb teas, cage-free eggs, wild cold water fish, organic free-range chicken and turkey, grass-fed beef, raw nuts and nut butters, raw seeds and seed butters, all kinds of stuff, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, um, and then, of course, the Arbon Nutrition products. And so, again, you can live this lifestyle without Arbon. It's just these products make it so convenient <laughs> to just get through the day on, on the go. Um, so starting out with the protein shakes. So, again, you're going you're gonna to switch and do one to two shakes a day. And the whole reason we do shakes is because liquid meals actually accelerate detoxification. Isn't that cool? And it's just so easy for our bodies to digest and assimilate. And so these protein shakes actually have 20 grams of plant-based protein. It's pea protein, rice, and cranberry blend so that it's 100% amino acid profile. And again, these, I, in my opinion, I think just upping my protein with these shakes has completely taken away my massive sugar cravings, and I actually crave the protein now. I can't, I go to bed at night thinking about what kind of shake I'm gonna have in the morning, it's so fun. And it's just great to have something that's easy to make when you're on the go. I don't know about you, but for me, if I couldn't find something healthy, I would just skip a meal, and that's not healthy either, right? Because then at the next meal, I'd wanna eat the whole, you know, anything that was in sight. So this, again, will just keep your blood sugars stabilized. And then there's the fiber, and you can just throw a scoop into your protein shake. So this is super easy. It's going to help you feel fuller and balance your blood sugar. And fiber is a sponge for toxins. And so you're going to, you know, you can start with half a scoop and just kind of work up to a full scoop. But a full scoop is going to be 12 grams of fiber. And the recommended minimum amount of fiber per day is 28 grams for women and 38 grams for men. But I've heard... I've heard that number is way higher by naturopaths. They, they think it's, it's better to do like 40 or 50 grams. Um, the average adult only gets about 15 grams of fiber today, per day. So again, the fiber is just going to help us start to get our elimination organs working a little better. And then there's the fizz sticks, which I love. I really <laughs> it, it would consider it a crisis if we ran out of these things. So <laughs> what's so wonderful is it's going to keep you alkaline. And when you're alkaline, you're going to have more energy. And so just that fact alone gives you energy. It's green tea, ginseng, and guarana for a healthy energy drink. It replaces soda and coffee, which are acidic. Um, and it's going to provide calm energy all day, no jitters or crash. It's a source of B vitamins and herbs like, like rhodiola and chromium that elevate your mood. And so it truly is a happy drink. <laughs> You'll look around in Arbonne, everybody's happy because we're all on these fist eggs. <laughs> so they're great for athletes, students, office workers, doctors, nurses, moms, and anyone, and dads, anyone who needs a boost. This is truly 
it, it really does help you just think clearer. And, and then there's the Digestion Plus, and this is a little power pack. It's a three-in-one that I take first thing in the morning. It's, it's in a little powder pack, and you just rip it open. I, I just put it right in my mouth and take a sip of water. But again, you could put these in your shake. You could put it in a little glass of water, too, and drink it that way. Um, just get them in however you can. Um, it's a prebiotic, probiotic, and 11 digestive enzymes. And this is going to help populate your gut with the healthy bacteria. It's going to increase your immune system. It helps alkalize and de detoxify your body. And this is huge. It helps heal the intestinal wall damaged by diet, antibiotics, stress, and I'm going to add in there GMOs. Okay, so anytime you're on antibiotics, it actually takes a full year for those good bacteria to repopulate in your gut. And so for that whole year, your immune system's depressed. And the other piece of this, we produce most of our serotonin in the gut. And so this, if you know anybody that struggles with depression or anxiety, um, this is huge just to help people heal the gut. And it, it truly does balance out that serotonin um, hormone. So this is great for people with GERDs, indigestion, constipation, gas bloating, IBS, Crohn's disease, acid reflux, lactose intolerance, even acne, psoriasis, and eczema, since skin health begins in the gut. And I love that Arbon is looking at the, the inside out, <laughs> you know, for health. Um, and then we have the daily detox tea. It's going to promote the gentle daily detoxification, supporting the kidneys and the liver. It's just a mild tea with a hint of mint. You can have it in the morning and at night. It's naturally caffeine free. It has nine detoxifying herbs. One of them is milk thistle, which is a, a power herb, um, just a power cleanser for the liver. And if you're used to having like a hot beverage in the morning, you can make a tizzy. So that's a detox tea and then add a fizz stick to it. And it's just that warming effect, but then it also gives you a nice boost of energy. And then there's the seven day body cleanse. And this is a deep power cleanse that attracts toxins like a magnet for safe elimination. And we're going to do this in the third week of our 30 days. And so for the first couple weeks, you're going to be doing the, the clean meals. You're going to do one or two shakes a day, um, the tea, the fiber, the digestion plus, the fizz sticks. And then in the third week, we're going to stop doing the tea. And in this third week, we're going to do the seven-day body cleanse. So this is adding a drink along with clean eating and your shakes and everything else. So there's no starving. <laughs> Let me just say that. And this is they're like little um, liquid pouches, and you pour a pouch into 32 ounces of water, and you sip it through the day for seven days in a row. And it sort of tastes like um, apple cider tea in my mind. And then you're going to also drink another 32 ounces of pure water to help the marine botanicals usher out these toxins. And it's great for losing the last 10 pounds, moving past the plateau, removing stubborn belly fat, because again, that belly fat is storing the toxins. And it increases energy, increases mental acuity. And so a lot of people want to know, am I going to have to be chained to the bathroom? No. <laughs> what it does do is it increases the volume, but not the frequency. So I hope that makes sense. So it's safe. You can work. You can do your thing. <laughs> this isn't going to be a run to the bathroom kind of a deal. Um, and some people, too, I like to say this, some people might experience a mild headache or just feel a little more tired when they're doing the seven-day body cleanse. And that's a good sign because what happens is it's pulling those toxins that have been stored in our deep tissues, it's pulling those toxins out and pulling, putting them back in the bloodstream. So while they're circulating in the bloodstream, we, um, we're feeling a little run down, but then we're going to be able to eliminate those toxins for good. So the, when you get a tiny headache or you're, you're just feeling more tired, just kind of push through, lean into it, because that's a great sign that you're getting rid of toxins. Sometimes I'll get it like a little pimple. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> whatever that is, I'm glad it's coming out. <laughs> so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in my story too. And then we have the greens, which is just a great way to get a shot of more nutrients and we just stick them right in the protein shake 
And so you're going to have the greens, reds, yellows, and blues. And I'm sorry, but I don't eat all of those things every day. <laughs> but since I've been using the greens balance, I've noticed actually that my eyesight has sharpened up. So again, when you get those nutrients that your cells are craving, your body just like comes alive. It's so cool. And so abs are made in the kitchen. 80% of what we look like is really from what we eat and what we put on our skin and what we breathe, right? Whatever we're absorbing. 10% is genetics. 10% is exercise. You cannot out-exercise a toxic body. And so, you know, I think about how much weight we put on genetics. And really, like for what I learned with the whole, you know, cancer scenario and my family, we had the genetic testing and it came back negative. And I realized um, after investigating that 44% of cancer is from environmental toxins and less than 10% is genetics. And you think about that, you know, people kind of say, oh, well, my, my relatives had this and this, so I'm probably going to get it too. But really, what if what we're passing down is more our habits and recipes and lifestyle and maybe even where we live and things? What if it's, you know, more environmental than, than genetics. So just think about that. And yes, exercise is so important. And again, we put so much emphasis on that in our society. And it is, it's amazing. It's a stress reliever. It's going to, you know, keep your body young and keep you more alkaline. But it's still, you cannot out-exercise a toxic body. You can run on the treadmill for days. But if you're storing all those toxins, you'll lose water weight, bone mass, even muscles before you, you know, release any of the fat you're going to hold on to the fat because it's protecting you from the toxins so if we can get rid of the toxins then we'll lose that extra fat so um, we do have some amazing testimonials and I just want to focus in on the midsection of some of these beautiful people <laughs> um, you can see the biggest change is right around the belly and then this is Thomas Fox he was over 400 pounds and took some cough medicine and it made his heart race and he went to the doctor and they said if you don't lose weight you're gonna die but they didn't give him a plan and thank goodness he knew somebody who um, who showed him Arbonne and this was a plan that he could he could just add into his busy life and he's lost over 150 pounds now um, this precious girl went off her soda and and is feeling much better on the 30-day plan. She was able to replace that. And then Carla is just the coolest. I think she was 49 when she entered a fitness competition, and she did it with using all the vegan protein supplements and from Arbonne instead of using the whey-based supplements that everyone told her she had to use if she wanted to win, and she proved them wrong. She took home three first place medals <laughs> so I just think that's pretty cool and um, I just yeah I'll, I guess I'll save my testimony so how does this whole thing work you know a lot of people say well if this is so great why isn't it in a store but the reason it's not in a store is because often the things on the store shelf are marked up because they had to go from the manufacturer to the warehouser to the wholesaler to the retailer, you know, you pay for advertising, you pay for where that product sits on the shelf. And so the consumer ends up paying way more for the process than the actual product. In Arbonne, the product is, is shipped straight from the manufacturer to your doorstep based on a consultant's word of mouth recommendation. And so we, we, this is how it works. We use the product, we fall in love with how we feel, and then it's just easy to recommend, you know, Arbonne products to other people. They're, they're just a safer um, alternative to what most people are bringing home into their families. So by doing that, by recommending Arbonne, we can build a network of people who are consuming the products, and we can also earn an income. And then we can show other people how to do the very same thing. So we just teach people how to redirect the money they're already spending on these, these same kind of products. We're just asking them to switch to a pure, safer, healthier option for their family. And then, you know, when you recommend products, you can build a network, you can build um, a network of consumers globally using the internet, social media, direct shipping, and a proven system for success. 
So this guy on the screen told five people, but there's 23 people, you know, using the products. So you think about that. You start out with a few people that you know, but then they tell someone who tells someone who tells someone. And, and it's just such a cool thing. You start to build a network that's bigger than you could ever dream of. And so who do you know in the United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, Poland, New Zealand, Taiwan, and we're actually going into Germany next year. So this is, these are all the countries where you can build a team. And then just so you know a little bit about the income levels, in Arbonne there's only four, and the first one is district manager, and the average district earns between $240 to $1,500 a month. At area manager, you earn around $1,200 up to $3,000 a month, and this is where your business becomes willable. And this is the part that really just, I couldn't stop thinking about because I kept thinking, okay, the doctors that I work with do not have a willable business. I mean, this is incredible. If I can just figure this out, <laughs> it would be worth it to have something that's going to outlast me. So meaning if something were to happen to me today, the business that I've built, those those checks that come monthly would still end up coming to whoever I willed it to. Um, we just actually had that scenario. There was a woman in, um, in our business that we knew very well who lost her life suddenly in August and her ID number went to her daughter. So now her daughter is being blessed with this income that she, you know, that her mom built for her. I mean, I just think that's incredible. And where else in the world would you ever even be offered that chance? You know, when I clocked in and clocked out as a nurse, that was it. I wasn't going to get paid if I didn't show up. Whereas in this, you can build something that's going to keep paying and paying and paying, even when you're no longer on this earth. Um, that got my attention. <laughs> so regional vice president is where you earn between $5,000 to $8,000 a month. And this, to me, again, was was eye-opening and head-turning because I just wanted to get the word out that people could actually replace a full-time professional income working part-time hours alongside what they were already doing. And that's exactly what I did. I added Arbonne in to what I was already doing, working as a nurse. And in two years' time, I was able to replace and actually surpass my nursing income. Along with the income, you also get a car allowance each month to go towards a Mercedes Benz of your choice. It just has to be white to represent purity. And then at the top level, national vice president, your team has grown so big and you've helped other leaders grow their teams. And now you have the ability to earn 21,000 a month and up. It's unlimited earning potential. So in this business, you can truly get paid what you're worth. As a nurse, it really didn't matter if I work 24-7, I can never get the pay of the CEO at the hospital, but in Arbonne, you can. <laughs> you can pass people. This is all based on your own effort, and I love that. I love how fair it is. And so how can you be part of Arbonne? There's two different membership programs. There's a preferred client where you pay $20 to join and then you receive a 20 to 40 percent discount off of all your products for an entire year and this this Arbonne special value pack that we just talked about there's actually a nutrition value pack that's 40 percent off and um, you're also going to get a free $50 product when you first become a, a preferred client and what's so cool is this month in October, it's such a perfect time to hear about this because they've waived that $20 fee. So you could get the 40% off, no fee, and um, there's actually free shipping with preferred clients and free products. So woo, that's an awesome deal. And the price point for that as a preferred client is actually, it, the retail is 434, 40% off is 260, and that's it. If you're, if you're ordering in Michigan, there's not even tax in Michigan attached to that for nutritional. So that's pretty exciting. I'm not sure about Florida, Bev, or Tennessee. We'll have to look that up. Um, and then as a consultant, this is another just fantastic deal. Here's the deal. Most people start out as preferred clients, but then as they use the products and fall in love with them, they want the bigger discount. And in, in Arbonne, you can be a consultant just for the deeper discount. There's no minimums or maximums or any kind of requirements with being a consultant. You can just use the product at a better price. 
or it also gives you the ability to build a business if you so choose. So normally it's $79 to become a consultant and then you would get 35 to 50% off for a year. But again, in October with a qualifying order, that $79 is waived. So woo, it's a great month to get introduced to Arbon. Um, I also just want to mention when you, when you um, order the nutrition value pack, we also add you to a Facebook group that is free and you have access to all kinds of recipes and meal plans and grocery lists and you're part of a community who wants to help you succeed and just support you. And so I just wanted you to know about that. And just to close it out, I just want to share my quick testimony and um, then we can open it up for questions. So <laughs> what really turned my head and made me want to be part of this company, I had been using the products for lots of years and then um, my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer and we just rallied around her. I thought in my mind for sure that she would just go through chemo and the surgeries and everything just like me and we would pick up the pieces together. And sadly, it just didn't go that way. Her, her situation, it was like a runaway train and she just never recovered. Um, the tumors kept growing back and she passed away in 2012. Um, at the age of 42, just a vibrant, you know, school teacher full of life and it rocked my world for sure. Do you know how there's just those points in your life that change the way you think and change your perspective and it just made me want to do more in my life. It made me realize how, how short our time is here and that I want to do something that was, that was going to matter and make a difference and um, I just felt so restless inside and after my sister died, I actually found out soon after that we grew up near a nuclear weapons facility. And, and so all of these people in the area were unknowingly exposed to radioactive plutonium. And plutonium is, um, you know, deadly if you ingest even a grain of rice size amount. So I actually went to my integrative doctor, I got tested, I was positive for plutonium, cadmium, beryllium, uranium. I also had high levels of mercury from going through chemo. And wow, when those test results came back, I just thought this is, this is what happened to my family. And we did chelation at the doctor's office, which is the big guns that's supposed to help your body eliminate heavy metals. It, it started to shut down my kidneys though. And so we had to stop. And in 2013, I brought in the Arbonne 30 Days to Healthy Living Plan. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I've never gone off dairy, gluten, soy, sugar. I, you know, I'm going to couple it with all the Arbonne supplements and do it just like they said. And my doctor said, sure, go for it. And um, I asked to be tested to see what exactly that seven-day body cleanse that we talked about was pulling from my body. And um, so we sent, sorry, a stool sample to the lab and the results came back and it was actually pulling plutonium, mercury, lead, arsenic, all these things. There was a whole graph chart, but the line that was longest was the plutonium and it just gave me hope. And um, after eight months total, there was no plutonium detected. And so you guys, this is, this is, that's a major, you know, extreme example, but I just believe with all my heart that, you know, we're in an industrialized country and we're being bombarded with more toxins than, than the human body has ever been, you know, tested for. We're literally a walking human experiment. And I believe in my heart that the survival of the species is going to come down to the way that we can eliminate these toxins and really avoid them altogether if we can. So in Arbonne, this is what we teach, you know, is how to, how to take ownership of your health and to, you know, manage the damage that you might already have, like I did. Um, I, I really embraced this business because it was my way to honor my sister's life and honor my mother's life with my own and pay it forward sharing health with others. And really my own personal mission is to help people find their worth because I believe that if someone's walking around in a body that is in pain or inflamed or you just don't feel good, you can't move real well, then it's hard to feel your worth. Or if someone's so encumbered and burdened by financial stress 
it's hard to feel your worth. And I just feel like in our bond, we can help people with both. And so that's, that's my whole mission is just to help people see that you, we, none of us are here to live a small life. We're all here to live a beautiful life. And the more that we can, you know, take care of our own self, the more we can give to others and make a difference in this world together. So I just invite you to be part of our nutrition mission, either using the products or joining our team and helping us get the word out that this could be a way to help families have safer, healthier options. So love you so much. I'm so glad you were able to listen in.